Good morning, everyone, and a warm welcome to the fifth conference on computational thinking in school, having the theme of enhancing teacher preparation for integrating computational thinking. I am honored to be here today with you as organizing co-chair and to welcome you all for the conference where the importance of computational thinking in educational will be highlighted. I welcome today's keynote speaker present virtually for this morning session, Professor Tim Bell, Professor in Computational Science and Software Engineering, University of Canterbury, New Zealand. Also, Professor Regula Lacher, Director ABZETH Zurich, and Professor Juraj, Professor of Information Technology and Education at ETH Zurich. All committee members, teachers, educators attending the conference in person as well as in virtual mode. A very pleasant morning to one and all. The ability to solve problem is a critical skill not only for students, teachers, but everyone else. Identifying the problem, understanding it, breaking it down into smaller ones, finding the pattern and solving it creatively is what is required. So. I would like to congratulate team CS Patshala and ACM Pune chapter for organizing such a conference on computational thinking consecutively for last four years for school teachers. I think they deserve a great round of applause, especially Pulsha and Sonia Gajja. Preparing students as future workforce is the responsibility of teachers and educators. So when the teachers attend such conferences, their learnings get percolated to the student community faster. City Bright School has been associated with CS Patshala from the beginning as a pilot school. We have been integrating CT across all the subjects, which is helping our students to understand the concept in a better way, in turn making them positively engaged with the whole learning process. We have been using unplugged activities in various subjects, participating in Bebra's challenge. Our teachers have also conducted some teachers program, faculty development program in other schools and have seen the transformation in students as well as teachers. I feel that sometimes the best way to learn is to unlearn old ways of thinking. By learning to unlearn and relearn, you get a different perspective, different dimension, gain some new insights. The expert sessions presentation in the conference will give us some new dimension, some new perspective to integrate CT in our curriculum. You can utilize this opportunity to network with others and exchange the ideas. Thus fulfilling the aim of CS Patshala community, which is to bring together teachers, educators, and researchers on the same platform. As an outcome of con this conference, I feel that we would be a better version of ourselves as a teacher and educators. Thank you. Thanks a lot. And have a great day. All the best to the presenters who would be presenting today and tomorrow. Over to you, Vipul. Thank you so much, Dipali. When I, when I come here, I think I'm at loss for words. Uh, it's so good to see so many people that you have known over the years, known the, the journey that have, all of us have been over these, over these uh, last several years. It just takes me down the memory lane. Uh, I was just talking to Vishnu today morning, and I was just telling him that uh, 2016, April 15th, is the very first uh, awareness workshop that we did with principals and schools. Uh, 2016, April 15th. Uh, Dipali was, I think, part of that. I think, and so were a few other teachers who have come, and the schools that have come. So good to see all of them. And it was. I think quite brave of a lot of these uh, principals and teachers from the schools in Pune to take up something that was completely new, right? There were a few of us who were saying, you know, this is important, this is something that uh, we believe in. This is something that we believe that we should be, uh, uh, something that we should introduce to the children in our schools. And I think they, they took it up on themselves to do it. And, I, and as I say, it was quite brave on their part to do this because they didn't really know what they were getting into, right? And I think seeing that they are still associated, seeing that they are, they are the ones driving this, 
it just it's makes uh, that makes me so happy to see that and the fact that what we started it was really worth uh, or was meaningful and something worth starting so uh, we started the journey in 2015 and in a few years we kept adding more things to it 2019 is 2018 is when we started the babrus challenge and i think I, uh, a lot of you have participated your kids have participated in the challenge and we're just looking at the numbers and interestingly over half a million students from india have already participated in the babrus challenge since it has uh, since its inception and believe me again five years right and believe me uh, this was during the tough time of covid as well where we wouldn't we were not able to reach out to students we were not able to reach students did not have devices to participate and uh, i think it has been a great uh, learning for all of us on seeing how do we overcome such uh, circumstances right so babrus has been a great uh, journey as well and 2019 was the very first ctis i remember again very very vividly uh, we did this in uh, uh, on icc trade towers again many of you were here uh, one thing I just remember is when we started the very first uh, uh, workshop that we did, I said in 2016, our motto was for the teachers, by the teachers. Right? And I think I heard that reflected in what, uh, uh, where is Dipali? Dipali, what, when she spoke about it. And I'm so glad to see that it is, it's now a movement and everybody has now been part of it. It's been driven by the teachers, driven by the schools. I don't think we can hope for anything more than this. I must acknowledge all the efforts that people, what the, all, all of us as volunteers, uh, have that have put it into this particular initiative. I think without this effort, we would not have reached thus far. We start, started this platform, uh, CTIS, as a community of practice, as a community where we could reach out to each other, a community where we could share learnings, best practices, resources, things that we could take back to our classrooms, right? I mean, if you hear somebody is doing something very interesting in say, cor some uh, corner of the country, and you think that is something different than what you have done, I'm sure you would be motivated to take it up as well, right? And I think that's the purpose of this, to provide a platform, provide an opportunity for all of you to talk about what you are doing. And uh, the journey over the last five years has been tremendous. The progress that you have seen in terms of the work that is happening is uh, phenomenal. And I, again, take this opportunity to welcome all of you. Looking forward to the next two days uh, of uh, uh, presentations from all of you, ideas uh, that you share, and uh, looking forward to that. So welcome all of you. Thank you so much. I now request uh, Professor Banerjee, Dean, R&D, Aisar Pune, to uh, come forward and share his thoughts. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Good morning. First of all, a warm um, welcome uh, to Aisar Pune. Okay. Those of you who have not come before, those of you who have come here, um, from all of us, from the authority of Aisar Pune, we, we, we welcome you to our campus. Um, and again, I thank um, the organizing committee for uh, inviting me. Um, I'm currently the Dean uh, Research and Development at Aisar Pune. My name is uh, Anjan Banerjee. I'm a faculty in the uh, Department of Biology at Aisar Pune. Uh, so thank you for uh, giving a few minutes to share our um, thoughts about your conference. I was going through your abstract. It's wonderful. It's a, it's a very timely uh, computational thinking in schools. You can, it's very timely organizing, um, timely uh, conference that uh, I think Association of Computational Machine um, in India as well as other participants and other organizing committee are, are organizing this event and, and the workshop for next today and tomorrow. Uh, this is wonderful. Um, I would just like to share, because all of, all of us are teachers here, including myself. Um, I think when NAP, the National Educational Policy was formulated and, the, and the, it was designed, you, I think one of the basic um, idea was that by 2020 it was, it was, it was um, uh, proposed. And well, I don't know whether you know it or not, 20 years from now, that is 2040, um, is, it is planned and been a kind of dream that India would be second to none in education sectors. I think teachers play a key role in this and when I was looking at this, 
what at primary level, at elemental level, middle school level, or even high school level, um, teachers play a significant, significant role. Okay, so the the curriculums are designed. Curriculums are designed at a higher level. Uh, uh, with an understanding that it will be implemented and if you see the fundamental principle of the curriculum is it has to be holistic any curriculum doesn't matter whether it is in a school level or any uh, any other higher level it has to be integrated there are it is a, it is designed in a thought that it has to be holistic um, it has to be most importantly it has to be enjoyable <laughs> if as a teacher I don't enjoy what what am I going to teach my class right no matter it is maths physics chemistry biology science uh, social science civic science I I always keep saying that that our civic sense is very poor that we don't understand the values of civic sense uh, as a human being as a citizen of India how much we value civic sense and compared to waste in India if you compare so uh, having said that uh, program must be integrated when I was looking at your curriculum, I really thank the organizing committee um, for putting up a very thoughtful um, you know, way that this today's and tomorrow's uh, program. Um, you enjoy uh, these two days of workshops here at our ISAR Pune. Um, all of you, um, you know, again, I, I say that you take time also to visit our campus, um, visit our departments, visit our, uh, feel free to take a tour as and when the campus is, uh, the pro program gives you a little bit of time and enjoy and should you wish to even interact, should you wish to uh, see, I think yesterday I saw some of you were in the science activity center, we had minister of uh, education from UK. Uh, visiting us yesterday and we I think I wish you were, you was there you were there yesterday and uh, it was really I mean very fascinating they were they were appreciating our efforts in 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 in, in taking pedagogy in a different level uh, Aisar Pune takes pride in that and uh, I don't know how many of you are aware we have fantastic program here from iSTEM we have program from um, uh, MS Deed whereby we are targeting schools and colleges and junior teachers in primary schools and bringing them and giving them the the hands-on training and hands on pedagogy level uh, thinking abilities it is so critical today it is so important today that we must work together to 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 achieve our target right How, otherwise 2040 all of us will reach but i don't think india will be will be second to none in education so we must do our 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 responsibilities we all are accountable i feel uh, not only you and not only me we all are accountable as a team we must do our part uh, uh, another thing I would like to point out i, I think uh, you have all have come from different parts of india so or even from Maharashtra as well, but you might take time and visit our science activity center uh, in, in team or groups and see what the institute does um, in a national level today, okay, um, in order to train teachers to go back to the schools, uh, 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 helping kids to, 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 to kind of formulate problems. I think this is one of the I mean, kind of objective that how to come up with a formulating problem, the computer thinking, you know, this, these days kids, you know, even a child is born and you can imagine within one year or two years, she or he has the cell phone in her hand or his hand. Uh, so you, we don't need to do much. I think thinking is already tuned in the brain before it is in the in the negative way. We must give our inputs to the kids to that. You know, let us use it as a prospective way. I think there we all play a key role. That's what my responsibility. I mean, that's what I I think so. So um, again, um, I welcome all of you in this uh, two days of conference, and I wish the organizers as well as all of you um, a great success, and as well as you enjoy the two days event here at Isarpune. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir, for your motivation, and I'm sure you all must have enjoyed yesterday's science activity center, uh, whatever we did there. I am, and even if the teachers who have come today, if you are not belonging to science stream, but still I'll, you make it a point to visit that center, you will learn a lot and you will take so many things back to your school. So now I call upon, uh, Junaki to share uh, the report of uh, the CTS conference. So, uh, thank you very much, Depali. Uh, taking forward, uh, before I begin uh, reading the report uh, of the conference uh, and taking forward what Professor Banerjee just said, I would like to begin with a quote by Samuel Papert uh, in his, uh, from his book, Mindstorms, Children, Computers and Powerful Ideas, where he says, one might say the computer is being used to program the child. In my vision, 
the child programs the computer and in doing so both acquire a sense of mastery over a piece of the most modern and powerful technology and establishes an intense contact with some of the deepest ideas from science, from mathematics and from the art of intellectual model building. So uh, though this does not use the term computational thinking, I think the seeds of that is ingrained in this very, uh, very poignant quote from Samuel Papert. So it is my pleasure in fact, uh, on behalf of the fifth uh, computational thinking uh, in schools conference, the 2023 conference, Nikhil Gadkare and I, the pro we are the program committee co-chairs. We take immense pleasure in welcoming, welcoming all of you, uh, those who have joined us in person and over Zoom, the program committee members who are present here, the panelists, uh, the session chairs, the invited speakers to this conference here at ISA Pune. Uh, as you already know that CETIS conference is an annual event which is being organized by ACM and the CS Pachala community and the aim is to bring together teachers, educators, researchers to discuss issues of curriculum, pedagogy, policy and implementation related to integrating computational thinking in schools. We have traversed an exciting journey over the past five years. The first CETIS conference was held in uh, 2019 here in Pune. The second in 2020 was a virtual conference. Again, it was held here at ISA Pune. The third annual conference in 21 was again in virtual mode. That was the pandemic time and was hosted by the Mege group of schools. The fourth seat is last year was held in hybrid mode at ISA in partnership with the Kaveri group of institutes uh, and the uh, STCR, PICT, ACM students chapter. So as Dipali already said that every year the CTS conference addresses a specific theme and this year's theme is enhancing teacher preparation for integrating computational thinking. It is indeed an honor that the steering committee of the conference invited Nikhil, who is the co-founder of the Walnut Schools in Pune and myself, Jonaki Ghosh from Lady Sri Ram College, Delhi, to be the program committee co-chairs. We gratefully acknowledge the support provided by the steering committee members, their invaluable suggestions and for facilitating the smooth planning of this conference. Now, uh, coming to the program committee, I would just like to take a minute and talk about uh, the committee. The program committee of the CTIS 2023 conference comprises a group of individuals who are committed towards meaningful integration of CT in schools. We therefore have academicians who work in the area of computational thinking, practicing teachers who actively engage in, CT, in teaching CT, and other individuals who are passionate about the idea of integrating computational thinking in schools. One of the primary objectives of the CTIS conferences is to elicit the practicing teachers' views and understanding of computational thinking. Hence, paper presentations by teachers is, uh, form an integral part of this, these conferences. And we are grateful to the PC members for actively participating in the abstract review process and in helping to shortlist the abstracts. Apart from program committee members, members of the steering committee also spared their valuable time to facilitate this process. And many of them also mentored the participating teachers to prepare their final presentation. We thank them for their efforts in helping to shape the academic program of this conference. And uh, the members, uh, the, I think on the previous slide, uh, these are the members of the program committee. As you can see, they are from all different cities and involved in different educational institutes and organizations. And they are, uh, it's really a wonderful community and they have really done a wonderful job of really uh, putting together their thoughts and helping out teachers and helping them to uh, fine tune and improve their ideas and also bring it to the presentation here in this conference. This year we received uh, more than 200 abstracts from schools across India and also from researchers working on computational thinking concepts in India and abroad. And these abstracts were divided into three categories. So there were 100 abstracts in the general category, 66 from the Andhra Pradesh Social Welfare Schools and 36 from the Mege group of schools. So as you can see, it's a very encouraging number. I think the numbers are only going up with every conference. 
Two regional conferences were held in online mode to motivate teachers and provide them with a platform to present their work. So the Regional Cities 2023 AP Swaris online conference was held on 24th May 2023 and in that out of 66, 24 abstracts were presented. The Mega Regional Conference was held on 27th May 23. Uh, the reviewers scored, so there were reviewers also were present during these online conferences and they scored the presentations and the comments were shared with the program committee chairs for final selection in, in this conference. Each abstract uh, received two sets of reviews. Finally, 43 abstracts have been selected for presentation in, in CITES 2023, out of which 36 are by teachers and 7 are by individuals working in various organizations who are engaged in CT education. These 43 presentations have been categorized under the themes as you would have seen in the uh, call for abstracts, there were certain themes. So this is CT based unplugged activities, CT and inclusion, CT and sustainability, CT and coding, CT and mathematics education, CT in science, social science and language education. We also have uh, presentations uh, based on learning from the Bebra's challenge and I, I'm very happy to share that the medium of presentation we have six languages uh, uh, English, Hindi, Marathi, Gujarati, Tamil and even Sanskrit. So all uh, people, uh, teachers will be presenting in different languages. So we have really, truly tran transcended the language barriers also. Uh, apart from, uh, there were several academicians and professionals who are passionate about CT and they also offered their valuable time in reviewing the abstracts. As you know, the numbers were pretty high, that is uh, more than 200. and. Uh, I would like to share their names here and greatly, uh, we really acknowledge their invaluable support in helping us do this. Now CITES 2023 has an exciting program in the next two uh, days lined up for you which includes talks by eminent speakers from across the world, an online workshop session and a panel discussion apart from the paper presentations by teachers. The keynote address, as you will see soon, uh, will be delivered by Professor uh, Tim Bell, University of Canterbury, New Zealand, and he'll be speaking on teaching computer science unplugged, and it will truly set the tone of the conference. This will be followed by a joint invited talk on the three roots of computer science by Uri Romkovic and Regula Latcher of ETH Zurich, Switzerland. They will, be, they will conduct an online workshop, so they will first give a talk and then they will also conduct an online workshop session on the theme Teaching CT from Kindergarten to High School in a Spiral Curriculum. Uh, R. Ramanujam will be the chair for the, their talk and the workshop session will be facilitated by R. Venkatesh. A panel discussion on computational thinking and K-12 education the way forward has been organized where educators from schools and organizations from across the country will express their views on the theme. After all, when we are talking about computational thinking, where do we go? How do we proceed in the next few years to come? And that will be the theme of this conference. The panelists are Vishnu Agnihotri. This, of course, is tomorrow. Vishnu Agnihotri from Genwise, Bangalore. Uh, Mukesh Kumar, Delhi Public School, Arkepuram, New Delhi. Varad Khan from Educational Initiatives and Rita Panse from School of Scholars, Nagpur. The panel discussion will be chaired by Vipul. We encourage you to um, participate actively in the various sessions of this conference. Uh, there will be time for Q&A, which has been al allocated after uh, the invited talk. So once the talk is over, the, the mics will be floated. So please do ask your questions to the speakers. Uh, finally, we would like to once again thank the members of the program committee, the steering committee for the invaluable support in preparing, helping us prepare the conference program. And of course, thanks to the organizing committee for the meticulous planning of the logistics. And of course, to ISER Pune for continuously, not just this time, but over the years for their continual support in providing such an excellent venue and such state-of-the-art facilities. So welcome again to everyone and I do hope that you are heading for a very, very enriching conference. Thank you very much. <laughs>